All right, so I was in the Middle East last week and I stumbled across a few very interesting articles and they were front page articles, in fact, pertaining to something near and dear to me. Her, the beloved. In the Gulf News, this headline, Blackberry, still a big seller in the UAE. In fact, Research in Motion, we learned, is negotiating a lease for 1,500 square feet of retail space in Dubai, where the Blackberry rules, thanks to its instant messaging. Now, I also discovered that new stores are opening elsewhere. Research in Motion, the BlackBerry maker, plans on opening 4,000 retail stores and kiosks in Indonesia alone, where there were riots due to high demand when the BlackBerry Bold 9790 was released in November. So get this. Okay, this is for you iPhone lovers. Prepare yourselves, because according to IDC, the BlackBerry outshipped the iPhone by more than three to one last year in the Middle East and Africa. Newspapers in the Middle East reported the BlackBerry is even going to open stores in Lagos, Nigeria. So my beloved rules in the developing world, and that's a huge thing that goes uncovered here at home. But it brings me to our number tonight, 770,000. That's how many more iPhones than Blackberries were sold in Canada last year. And that hurts, because Research in Motion is a Canadian company. And in the U.S., the iPhone and Android have taken over. According to Nielsen, about a third of smartphone users now have an iPhone. 48% in Android, only 12%. Stick it out with the beloved. The big question will be, can the rising world, the Middle East and Africa, outweigh the big giant markets? Or will BlackBerry go the way of the dodo? Still out front, new